we want to use the limit comparison test to determine if the infinite series converges, diverges, or if the test is inconclusive. Let's begin by determining what infinite series we know converges or diverges that resembles the given series. Notice how the given series resembles the series where we have the summation from n equals one to infinity of just n to the second divided by n to the third. So if we simplified this, we'd have the summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by n, which we should recognize as the harmonic series, which will diverge, or by the p-series test, with p equals one diverges. So now to conduct the limit comparison test, if we're trying to show that the summation of a sub n converges or diverges, and the summation of a sub n resembles the summation of b sub n, which we know converges or diverges, then if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n equals L, where L is positive and finite, then if the summation of b sub n converges, then so does the summation of a sub n. And if the limit is positive and finite and b sub n diverges, which would be in our case, then the summation of a sub n also diverges. So let's say the given series resembles the summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by n, which diverges by the p-series test with p equals one, which is less than or equal to one. So the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n would be equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n would be n squared divided by the quantity n to the third plus two divided by b sub n, which would be one divided by n. Now our notes do say a sub n divided by b sub n, but if we did have b sub n divided by a sub n, the limit comparison test is still true. Now this fraction bar means division, so let's write this as a product. We would have the limit as n approaches infinity of n to the second divided by n to the third plus two times the reciprocal of one over n, which would be n over one, which gives us the limit as n approaches infinity of, we'd have n to the third divided by the quantity n to the third plus two. Well notice how in taking this limit, the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same, and therefore this limit is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which would be one divided by one, or just one. So because this limit is positive and finite, because this series diverges, the given series also diverges. So by the limit comparison test, the summation from n equals one to infinity of n to the second divided by the quantity n to the third plus two diverges. Now you may remember when we did the direct comparison test using this exact same series and comparing it to this exact same series, the test was inconclusive. But using the limit comparison test, we were able to show the infinite series diverges. I hope you found this helpful.